There's many color guards in the Marine Corps, but this illustrious post, Marine Barracks Washington, has the honor of housing the Commandant's Four, who ultimately represents the Marine Corps on a national level. So, Commandant's Four are, in essence, an elite color guard and the elite color guard of the Marine Corps. I am Sergeant Cameron Williams. I'm the 40th Color Sergeant of the Marine Corps. So in 1965, the position of Color Sergeant of the Marine Corps was first created. Not that there weren't other color, color sergeants before that time. However, this is the first time that that was an official billeted position. Um, Gunnery Sergeant Shelton Eakin was awarded a Purple Heart for his gallantry and for his ability to save one of his fellow Marines while falling from an aircraft uh, on, a, on a jump. And that individual is what has paved the way for this position for me to be here right now. And he was the very first color sergeant of the Marine Corps. And he was awarded various different things. Aside from the Purple Heart, he was also in this particular room given a trophy um, that recognizes every color sergeant that came there after him. So he's definitely made an extreme impact on not only the Marine Corps, but on the color guard history uh, and traditions. The 55 streamers that we carry on the organizational uh, battle color, it signifies the uh, various battles and campaigns that the Marine Corps has been uh, involved in, um, as well as the, the different things that we've been awarded in the organizational history. Um, however, to me, it, it, is, it represents every Marine that's come before us um, and that has done great things for this Corps, that has done great things for this nation, um, and it, it holds a very special place in my heart. The riflemen in a color guard are utilized to guard essentially those colors to ensure that no harm is to come to them and that no one is to impede their progress in the event that they are being transported from one place to another. We have a full platoon of Marines who go and operate at different uh, ceremonial commitments as far as Arlington National Cemetery and, and different things across the National Capital Region. And those guys are, they bear the weight of the entire organization every time they step out of these doors. So uh, it's just, that level of professionalism is, is unmatched. We want to ensure that the Marine Corps is always represented um, and represented in the proper format. So it's, it's very important that not only we be able to show that the Marine Corps is still the, the very strong fighting force that it was years ago, but we also need to show ceremonially that we can create a product that the nation can be proud of.